Hi, in this video I'm going to talk about guide veins and uh, basically a guide vein, is, I've, I've drawn a, an actual fan here, there's the impeller, I've left out the motor now and there's the guide vein. A guide vein is not, it looks like an impeller but it is static, it is like you know welded or screwed onto this casing, it doesn't move, this propeller moves but this, this, this guide vein does it. And the function of a guide vein is the following, yeah, air comes into the fan and after hitting the impeller or propeller wheel, this air has turbulences in it. And in order to remove those turbulences, those, gui uh, those guide veins are devised. So when air goes onto those guide veins, it loses some of these turbulences and goes out more laminar with less turbulences. There are some turbulences in here, but not as much as here. That's the, that's the purpose of, of guide veins, basically to remove those turbulences. And, uh, and the advantage is that those guide veins, when they, when they remove those turbulences, they convert, they convert those turbulences into static pressure. That means that fan would produce more static pressure with those guide veins than without. And thus, that raises also the fan's efficiency. Now, there are two kinds of guide veins. One are at the outlet, like in this case, that's at the outlet. Outlet means that after the air um, leaves the impeller, it hits the guide veins and that's the outlet and the other case is inlet so basically if you had air coming this way then let me let me let me, let me just draw that in a different color so inlet would mean that if you had the air come in this way then the guide then the the, the air would pass first over the guide veins and then uh, over the impeller now in uh, Inlet guide veins have a slightly different function than outlet guide veins. Inlet guide veins don't remove the turbulence, but actually, I'm just going to write it here. Inlet veins, what they do, they induce a negative turbulence. Or what I call a negative turbulence. What that means is that they rotate the air in an opposite direction to what the impeller does. So basically, they induce, the air comes in here and it gets into some, let's say, in this way turbulent. Yeah, it goes like this way. And then once it hits the fan, the fan is going to rotate the air that way, you know, not exactly the opposite direction. But as the air is rotated this way and that counter rotation of the impeller wheel makes the air laminar again. So basically, what uh, what uh, in other words, what the inlet veins do, they overcompensate for what the impeller is gonna do later. So they induce a negative, or let's say, a, a, an extra opposite turbulence, which then the impeller rectifies because it's going the other way, and then you have here turbulent there. Actually, most veins, most guide veins, are outlet veins. Inlet veins are very rare. Inlet veins, you see, if you have, for instance, if the motor is here, and uh, or if you have a damper here, if you have the motor here, that's going to do a lot of turbulence. So you have the guide veins at the inlet, or if you have a damper here, some sort of damper mounted at the inlet, and this damper is creating some turbulence, you want to clean up the air before it hits the impeller, then you do you have some guide veins another better option is to have the guide veins mounted alongside the motor so the motor's turbulence is then rectified by those inlet guide veins but in most cases most cases the guide veins are on the exhaust side now uh, another thing about guide veins if we, if, if we look to that uh, if, if we look to that guide vein to the side from the side, it will look like this, straight profile, okay, if you look at this section here, 
that would be a straight profile but you have some guide veins which have a wing profile or an airfoil profile no? That's, but most most guide veins especially at the outlet they have the straight profile it's cheaper and it's faster to manufacture and basically it's it is um, it is um, fixed to the casing here and um, with that you raise the efficiency of the fan because that same fan produces more pressure because that guide vane converts some of that turbulence that the, that the impeller does into static pressure.